Okay, we are live with Color Times Malice. Color X Malice? Color Malice? Hunter Hunter? Hunter X Hunter? Anyway, oh, um, let's go back to the start. So, uh, Color X Malice is an Otome game. It came out in 2017 for the Vita originally, um, but I've only got around to playing it now that it's on the Switch. Uh, it is... Probably one of the best Otome games I've ever played. Um, I've only played one route so far. So uh, we are going to try and get a particular boy. One that I haven't actually uh, dated yet. He is not my favourite. My favourite goes to K. Um, Osazaki. Yeah. So uh, let's start from the very beginning. Right from the prologue. And we are just going to sit back and enjoy. So Ichika Hoshino. A rookie police officer in Shinjuku. This is a work of fiction. People and names appearing in this work are entirely fictional. Except for Shinjuku. Yeah, let's go to the prologue first. <laughs> Has very Phoenix right vibe to how it shows violence. Which I like, you know, this game isn't horror, it isn't gore. Report of Exude Incidents. Report of the Exude Incidents. April 1st. The video that started all this played on the giant screen facing Shinjuku train station. I find the voice uh, decoders, recoders, coding in this game terrifying. I also want to say, even though the main character is a cop, this game is not copy. It is not really pro-cop. Some people appearing to be police officers were tied up in the video, so police are working frantically to trace the broadcast. Prior to the broadcast, a number of officers had been reported missing. The transmission's origin and the officers were never found, and then May arrived. Another video showing the bound officers like the one in April was uploaded. Oh, mascot heads. Terrifying. Agreed. God. The kind of uh, the super polite Genki voice really reminds me of um, Battle Royale. Fake gun sound. Pew. Gunshots rang out during the declaration, and the police officers were shot. 
police traced a video to an abandoned building and confirmed one officer's death. However, other officers' bloodstains were found. The criminal's trail and the missing officer's whereabouts are still unknown. This incident began a chain of heinous crimes that was continued into June, July and August, and the number of victims steadily rose. Public scrutiny of the police grew harsh as time passed, and police efforts were fruitless. A Roman numeral indicating a countdown, and a unique coin, believed difficult to counterfeit, were found at the scene. Markings of the coin led some to speculate that the once dismantled terrorist organisation known as Adolis had been reborn. And then, on September the 1st, exasperated by repeated incidents, the government enacted extreme measures. Shinjuku Quarantine Act. Um, this is kind of timely because Tokyo has kind of got a quarantine similar to this right now, where you cannot leave Tokyo or come into Tokyo without a really fucking good reason because of COVID, which is kind of scary. This measure, intended to trap the criminals within the borders of Shinjuku, obviously drew the wrath of the public. Demonstrations bordering on riots broke out, but the government suppressed these and stated it was for Shinjuku's safety. The government did not stop there, it also adopted unprecedented extra-legal measures. Ah, Kabukicho. Repeal of the Swords and Firearms Control Law. To provide citizens a means of defence, the firearms firearms were provided to all people over the age of 20 within Shinjuku. Line up, get your free gun, hell yeah. It was all under the pretext of self-defence. The firearms and ammo were all coded in order to quickly determine a shooter's identity whenever a weapon was discharged. The criminals have guns so the people should be given equal access to equal arms. Yeah, this doesn't seem like a good idea to me, but... Thus, as an extra-legal measure, the residents of Shinjuku District exclusively have an obligation to carry firearms. The law ratified behind closed doors was suddenly announced to the public. The police had to obey the government's mandate and the unrest of the citizens trapped within Shinjuku swelled. Though upset, one could say that the citizens were now better suited to survive than other incidents. To survive other incidents. Um, yeah, it's kind of a crazy conceit. It was obvious the plan was full of holes, but there was no turning back. On X day, all would be reborn, in order for their utopia to become reality. Color, X, Alice. It does kind of set up as like a, a locked room horror game, but it is, uh, it is not that. It is still very much an otome. There's our main girl. Ichika, Hoshino Ichika. December the 5th, 4pm. Yes, you've reached the SRCPO. Ah, so no koe wa Hoshino san de sho? Mata jubo motta otoko ga uro tsui te ru no yo. Hayaku kite chodai. Ah. Mochida, good boy. Hoshino, Mata Lei no ba san kara ka? Hi, yes. Sono kao wa. Mata hoshikirare tan daro. Omae na, kore de nando me da? I'm sorry, she always hangs up before I can say anything, so I couldn't tell her no. Ii ka, Hoshino. Ima made no koto o omoi dashite miro. Tsuhou o ukete kakezuke temo. Ayashi to omot da kedo kinosei datta toka. It certainly is true we've gotten nothing out of her end reports so far. But Shinjuku is the way Shinjuku is now, we can't be certain it'll just be nothing again. In any case, isn't the old woman just feeling uneasy? Until three short months ago, it would have been unimaginable for a common citizen to be carrying a gun like we are now. Huh? Really? 
もっと必死でちょっとつ盲信というか、頑張に突っ走ってただけだからな。Yes. Even now I think you're too bold. Sorry, I guess I should say hard working. いいや、今は特望として苦情には平あやまり、嫌味を言われても平あやまりな日々だ。昔だったらすぐに頭に血が上ってたぞ。俺もずいぶん大人になったもんだ。うん。しかし。特防は X デイ事件の捜査をさせてもらえるわけじゃないからな。それだけが残念だ。モチタ is gazing to the distance again. He really wants to investigate those cases. Once the quarantine act was enacted, Shinjuku Station set up a service for residents. We've been soliciting tips on the incidents, but we're really understaffed. Special Regions Crime Prevention Office, or the SRCPO, comprises officers from many areas. We mainly deal with calls like the one earlier or unverifiable claims, and we also patrol Shinjuku to keep the peace. So they're using police basically as、um, like a, a helpline, a call line, which seems not、uh, efficient. Right, you don't need to take the call one when you're in Shinjuku, but hey, what the fuck do I know? Moshida and I were transferred from the local station here, so we often work together. Shinjuku is a hive of animosity and distrust, so it's not safe to go for a leisurely stroll. Usually, when we get a report, we'll hear about how people don't trust the police. But it still looks like there are some people who rely on the police. So, that's it. I'm not going to be able to get a report. I'm not going to be able to get a report. I'm not going to be able to get a report. I'm not going to be able to get a report. I'm not going to be able to get a report. I'm not going to be able to get a report. お前が話を聞くと、いつも帰る頃には安心した顔してるよな。Well, she lives alone, so I don't think she has anyone else she can count on. She looks kind of scary, but sometimes she talks about her grandchild. I'm sure that she's actually a kind person. そういうのも、お前が相手だから話そうって思えるのかもな。子供やお年寄りから話を聞くのは、お前の方が適任だ。Well, so she's an elderly person who is now armed to the teeth, you know? Mochida, you speak my language, boy. I have to agree. Mochida is pretty much exactly like that. Oops.、Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is that what Moshida is my superior, but he always treats me like we're equal, so I feel like I can really just be myself around him. I thought the police force would have a strict pecking order, so that was a big relief, though I'd never admit that to his face. Oi! Anta tachi! Kesatsu dayo na! Zuibun hima so j a n e k a Huh? A vexed man with a gun glared at me. Ore tachi ga shinjuku ni tojikome rare ta notte sa. Yep, true. Good. Exclamation mark. One of the men raised his gun at me. Yametoke. Mochida. Mochida swiftly closed the distance and disarmed the man with an arm lock. Oh, my. So it's a Hanase. 銃による脅迫には刑罰が下されるお前たち知っててこんな真似してるのかそそれはだったら何だって言うんだよ文句あるのか俺は言い訳をするつもりはない見たところ遊びたい盛りだろうそれなのにこんな事態に巻き込んだのは警察として申し訳ないと思うしかしなその鬱憤を晴らすために誰かを傷つけようとするなその銃は身を守るために使うものだ。武器として扱うのは許さん。Perhaps cowed by Machida's words, they reluctantly lowered their weapons. それでいい。日も暮れるし、こんなところでつるんでないで、もう帰る。Machida returned the gun he took from the man and shoot them off. いいか一般人相手に同じ真似はするなよ。二度目はないぞ。Trio retreated quietly and Machida returned to me. Sman Hoshino, Imano Yazra no Kotoa. 
<coughs> Sorry. Hey, no, what? No worries. Um, this video will be um, highlighted and put on YouTube as well. So if you ever want to catch up, feel free to swing on by. I know. We'll overlook this, won't we? There's no shortage of people who harbour that kind of animosity towards the police. I always felt this scene was super weird, right? Like, a guy willing to point a gun at the cop, but just let him go. Yeah, that seems safe. Obstructing an officer is a jailable offence, though they're not exactly wrong for blaming the police for creating the situation. That is true too. Mochida must have felt the same way, so we chose to simply let them go with a warning. I recorded the firearm number for their guns. Oh, it is this really, it's this Japanese naivety towards gun ownership. Um, but, you know, their system works for them, you know, guns are legal. You just have to jump through a million hoops in order to, to own and maintain one. I'd be shitting myself. Yes, it's kind of weird to say that I'm used to it, but I can assess the situation now. Once the sword and firearms law got repealed, I would tremble if I was drawn on. Despite my training at the police academy, I lost my nerve on several occasions when someone pointed a gun at me with hostility. But every time that happened, Machida stepped in and protected me. My stalwart defender. It's all thanks to you, Machida. Watching you handle yourself just like you did has eased my fear of guns quite a bit. <laughs> I always find it annoying in Otome games when the protagonist is inevitably saved by strong men, you know? Um, this game is kind of full of that as well. Slightly less than other Otome games, actually, I think just because, you know, technically uh, Hoshino is a cop. Machida puffed out his chest and then let out a carefree laugh. <laughs> He relaxed like an easygoing uncle, but he's my reliable superior. Gotta love those senpais. When we returned to the station, we could hear the stirrings of a commotion. Well, crime rates in Shinjuku are at a record high. Uh, yeah, if you arm a bunch of civilians and keep them cooped up, crime rates are gonna go up. Nightshade was nothing but being saved by dudes, you were literally useless throughout technically giving a story. Yeah, that's always frustrating. Heroes, huh? Last month a criminal claimed responsibility for X Day and started shooting randomly. Bystanders gunned him down and the incident ended without any innocent victims, but there was a talk of thank yous and rewards and the more people started to do the same. The criminal died of his wounds, but investigators found no connection between him and X-Day. The theory is he was a copycat criminal. Due to this incident, however, the number of people actively carrying guns increased. <laughs> Officer Machida, we don't know who might be listening. Machida looked around and made a sour expression. He lowered his voice. I know how you feel. I'm just as impatient as you are. As a police officer, I also want to help solve the X Day cases. All I can do is lend an ear to the citizens that turn to the SRCPO. SRCPO. That's all I can do. Yes, sir. A part of ways of Mochida, and soon I came across a familiar face. <gasps> Good work today, Saiki. My boy! My boy! Yeah! Fucking Saiki! I... I mean, I'm kind of in love with him, to be honest. He's, he's super rad. No, not yet. I was just on my way to file a report. I cannot believe he's not dateable in this game. I have I don't know anything about Unlimited, though. 
We attended the academy together and became friends while we were out drinking. Hell yeah. We also got assigned to the same office, so we're drinking and venting buddies. Um, I don't know how you cannot have friends who are drinking and venting buddies. Is that unhealthy? I don't know. What about you, Saiki? Yeah. I love the way his eyebrows knit together like that. He is uh, a little bit cute. I am planning on getting Unlimited after this, yeah, when I when I clear the game. Um, I don't want to like look at any of the features of Unlimited though, just in case it reveals something about this. Yeah, I have a lot of things I want to ask you. お前特防になってから多いよな。警察学校にいた頃は犯罪者を一人でも多く捕まえて見せるって燃えてたのにさ。Oh yes, the naivety of youth. Well, back then I I never would have imagined things would turn out this way. これはお前の熱血ぶり嫌いじゃなかったけどな。Oh really? 窓際の特防に追いやられて情熱までなくしちゃったか。Yeah, yeah, the uh, office work tends to squeeze out passion out of people. No, it didn't. My feelings haven't changed a bit from back then. Genki. <laughs> Genki. Without thinking, I flashed a smile in response to Psyche's grin. I feel a bit more relaxed now. Psyche knows just the right thing to say when my mind is like this. He's a big reason why I can stay optimistic in this job, despite all the dilemmas I face. Have they confirmed an anime for Collar X Malice is in the works? Because I would. I would fucking love it. Oh, so it has been confirmed. <gasps> I wonder what route they're going to choose. Psyche bowed slightly towards Mochida and gave me a look. Yeah, thanks. Speaking of uh, Nomu, I am just going to give myself some more tea. Ah, fuck. ASMR, man pours tea while playing Otome. Huh? Did I mention that? <laughs> Yeah, a Tomi-based anime never really turns out particularly well. Sorry, Psyche's a little too straightforward sometimes. Thanks, Dad. I will. Thanks, sexy Dad. After I handed my report off to Mochida, I suddenly remembered something. I should stop by before I head home. <laughs> when I have even a little bit of free time, I practice at the station shooting range. I want to prove my skills just in case they're ever needed. Plus, shooting helps calm my nerves and deal with anxiety. I took a firing stance and took a deep breath. <sighs> my hands used to shake just holding it. Even when firing on static targets, I was reluctant to hold a weapon for killing people. I was afraid. The day I dispelled that hesitation was during training, one day at the academy. Psyche, I don't think I'm suited for this job after all. I'm just shooting a target now, but what if it were a real person? I know I'd miss in that situation. Killing people. Huh? For catching criminals, right? これは銃を撃つのは守るためだと思ってる。誰もが持てるもんじゃない。俺たち警察だけに許された。守る手段だろ。Train yeah. to do it several times in an innocent person's back. Shooting to protect. 人質を取った犯人の隙を突く。逃亡しようとする奴の足止めをする。正確な射撃能力があればそれも可能になる。でも うつ覚悟と能力が備わってなければ人質を見すみすしなせてしまうかもしれない殺すためじゃない守るために撃つそうは考えられないかうーん I'm gonna say no Yeah, you're right The reason we issued guns is because we're responsible for protecting the people でもさ、星野 
銃を持つことを許された俺たちだからこそ最悪の事態を考えなきゃダメだと思うんだ。Yes, you know, I think police should be trained to shoot in the legs. That is far better than, I don't know, defunding the police. Worst case scenario, you mean where we might have to kill to protect the innocent? Ah, that is so the Hansai Shan of Inochu, Ubatta to Stemo, Moshi, so you sent a cross semarata toki. Oh my god, Hansai Shan of Utsu Kaku ga Arka. After listening to his words, I understood what the weight of a weapon meant to Saiki. He looks like he's packing heat. For him, this was not just a tool for killing, it was a means to protect people. I shouldn't hold a gun without the resolve, and a police officer must be ready to shoot. After that, I devoted myself to training. As Saiki said, conviction alone is worthless. Without marksmanship, a gun would still just be a killing weapon. I mean, you can also have marksmanship and kill. Okay. To make sure that I would be able to protect, I'd been training at the range daily. My skills have improved dramatically. In fact, marksmanship is my greatest skill. Of course, I doubt my performance in the field will mirror my skill in training. I never know when that time will come, but when a key moment comes, I don't want regrets. It's almost like this game will have moments where you need to be able to fire a gun. As long as Shinjuku stays this way, as long as the X Day incidents are unsolved, I get the feeling I'll be need to be ready. I aimed my pistol again and raised my head. Ow. Good, that's it. You have to get it in the circle somehow. I don't really know. Phew. For I knew it, an hour had passed. In the end, all of my shots had formed a tight grouping in the center. I let out a deep sigh. You know, I don't know what happens if you miss during this, but、um, later in the game, I have missed, and it gave me terrible endings.、Uh, real fucked up bloody endings. Whoa! Surprised by the sudden voice behind me, I spun around, startled. Psyche, you still haven't left? Don't worry, no spoilers. Oh, um, were you watching this whole time? You should have said something. That's weird. You don't. Ah ha ha, what the heck? Should I be happy to hear that? No, you don't home it in the day. Whatever, some case didn't that. Oh, I know, so you do you cut a show can made a mass signal to her. That is a very Japanese compliment. You're a hard worker. You're a good hard worker. Where's this suddenly coming from? You won't get anything out of flattering me. He's always confident, so something felt off. Psyche let out a small chuckle at my attempt to deflect my embarrassment. Oh, my, I'm a cash car and a shin that I guess. Coco Sukaget, him pani curio, not the noir. I mean, Jato Honga Kaijo Sareta. Wouldn't anyone? Yeah. As he said, it was around then. He knew even though I hadn't s p o k e about it. I definitely intensified my training after the weapons ban was lifted. Because this hunk of metal, which a trained police officer needed conviction to wield, had been distributed to the untrained masses. The world had turned into a place where people would half jokingly draw guns at other people, just as those men had done earlier today. Yes, half jokingly draw a gun on someone. Ooh. Mita Tokoro, Asobita Isakari Daro. Sore Nano Nikon Najita in Makikonda, Kesa Toste Moshiwaka Nai to Mo. Shikashina Sono Upuno Haras Tameni, Dareka or Kizuskeo to Suruna. Sono Jua, Mio Mamoru Tameni Skau Monoda. Gotta love a flashback to literally five minutes ago. When I remembered Machida's words, the pistol felt heavier than ever. This was not something to be taken lightly. I'm sure that many of the citizens baffled by the government policy felt similarly. Some objected to the distribution of guns, but now some people would obviously use them. 
and not just for self-defence. I don't know what they were thinking when they decided to make civilians carry this burden. I have the conviction to shoot. I'm a cop. That's my responsibility. I'll fulfill my duty no matter what. But... Maybe the police are not speaking to me. I see what you're saying. Even if the government says this is for self-defense, I think this is wrong. People around the country don't want to talk about what they've done here. I'm not in a position to protest it, but I can't approve of a world where people are suddenly made to wield a weapon. Words alone aren't enough. When the moment comes, my skills needed to prevent citizens from ever having to use their guns. Psyche strolled away with a bright laugh. As I watched him leave, he looked back at me with a vague smile. Yeah. I can now resolutely answer the question that he had asked me before. I returned to Psyche Smile and settled into a firing stance with my gun. I pulled the trigger without hesitation, as if to demonstrate my determination. Ow! Fuck! Jesus! Let's get the shit out of me. Conviction was carved into my heart. December 5th, 10 p.m. I left the station and walked to my home when a brisk wind made me shiver. Ooh, that's cold. Even though a muffler and a thick coat threw a muffler and thick coat, the December's chill stung my body. My breath exited my body as a tiny white cloud and I glanced at the nearby buildings. This place sure has changed. Um, the area in the background here is the, uh, is the business building district of... Shinjuku, so it is on the um, west side, and it does look like this. This is uh, taken from a photo, definitely. Um, yeah, it is very weird how much uh, of Shinjuku I recognise in this game. Shinjuku used to be a bustling. Oops. Ah. Shinjuku used to be a bustling day and night. Nowadays, it was mostly empty after nightfall. Much of society had just stopped functioning once Shinjuku became quarantined. Shops, schools, and utilities continued to work to the government's satisfaction, but everything else was non-existent. Kind of sounds like another quarantine. So long as the criminals remained at large, there would always be an uneasiness here. It's hard to tell people to live their normal lives in this situation. You couldn't just visit friends anymore. You had to weigh it against being targeted. People didn't know whether they or their loved ones would be the next victims, but they had to go on living somehow. It was hard to put into words just how much I'd missed life before the quarantine. I know I'm not the only one who's come to this realisation. Hmm? I hurriedly took out my phone, which was displaying Machida's name. Does he have a problem with my report? Wondering what I'd do if I was asked to return, I answered the call. Yes, this is Hoshino. <laughs> Shinjuku Garden. Anyone hearing that name would be wary. The X date incident in August, Shinjuku Garden was the scene of the crime, and the epicenter of much public fear. It should be closed off to the public. Acknowledged, I'll head there right away. I know, I won't act on my own. Um, Shinjuku Gardens is actually uh, kind of a place for homeless people to, to, to live, sadly. When I arrived, I quickly scouted the area and assessed the situation. Yes, I looked around the flat image and I saw trees. Nobody's here? The area was dark and visibility was poor. It'd be tough for me to tell if anyone was laying an ambush in there. Just in case, I drew my sidearm. 
I'd gotten into the habit of always carrying my weapon, and I'd practiced often, but I'd ev never actually used it in the field. So to be honest, I was nervous. Still, if I was confronted with someone who intended to take the lives of others, I would. I can't hesitate. While cautiously eyeing my surroundings, I approached the sealed gate to Shinjuku Garden. Why isn't Machida here yet? It seemed like it was taking him an awfully long time to get to Shinjuku Garden. I wonder if he's gotten into some trouble. I'm sure that's nothing. While I was debating whether to call him, I heard the sound of footsteps approaching. Ah, is that Machida? I better turn around slowly. I turned around. <laughs> I felt something push against my waist, and shock coursed through my body. Ah. Fuck. Hoshino is a bad cop. Um, yeah. Ugh. I opened my eyes and saw a flickering light. Ah, it's the fucking Christians again. Where am I? I tried to get up, but my body was numb and unresponsive. I couldn't move. What? What's going on? I tried to move my head to at least get a sense of my surroundings. Something's there. I felt a strange pressure around my neck. I wanted to check what it was, but I couldn't even raise my hands. No. Why? As if my body wasn't my own. Still, I gradually regained the use of my hands, and I timidly felt my neck. Is this a colour? It is She Tre Chic Tre Chic I know French. I grew pale as I felt the metallic coolness. I love the little gem with the cat thing on it. Like they really went out of their way to make it look snazzy. What's this? What's it doing on me? And what am I doing here? Looking around I saw that the floor around me was covered in what looked like red flowers. Flowers scarlet like blood. What an odd twist. Of thoughts to have. Looking up, I could see the moonlight cascading through stained glass. Am I in a church? My body was paralysed for reasons unknown. I was wearing an unfamiliar collar, yet the ephemeral beauty of the stained glass dominated my attention for the moment. I love how in Atoma games it always makes the language extremely flowery. I love the verbosity of the translators. Where have I seen this stained glass? Hi. The voice was close. It was from the collar. Uh, yeah. Good guess. Could have sent an email, my dude. Who are you? Did you put this call on me? Why did you? What do you mean? あなたは選ばれた実験体なのです。これから私はXでお願いいたします。そしてあなたが自分の正義を貫いたその時こそ、こんな形ではなく、直接お会いすることを約束します。What is your goal? What experiment? What have you done to me? お静かに出ないと死にますよ。オッケー。あなたの首につけさせていただいた首輪には資料の毒が仕込まれています。ポイズン？ただ現在あなたの体を蝕んでいるのは死亡性の毒で資料ではありません。ここで死んでもらっては
After all, the voice coming from the collar mentioned something about X Day. I have to investigate further. I need to at least get some useful information so I can report it. Fuck. Ha, jokes on you. I love no one. I don't know how much this criminal knows about me, but if they're going to threaten the people close to me, I I won't forgive you. Yurasunai, Yurasunai. I'll never forgive you for this. Zetai. うん。我々は薄っぺらい正義心なのに興味がない。求めるのは崇高な志なんです。このように満ちた悪意、曖昧な方、理想ばかりが鮮やかで形のない性。形のない性。真実を知ったあなたがどう抗うのか、我々と共
Once I heard those words, my crippling terror began to subside a bit. However, some doubts stubbornly remained. They were looking for me and they know what's happened to me. How did they know? How did they know I was here? After having that realization, my would be savior suddenly seemed much more frightening. Yes, dude, you're kind of intense. He must have seen a change in my expression. The man looked at me and then. Hmm. He seemed kind of sad as he murmured that, so I couldn't take my eyes off him. Why is he making that face? Yay! I'm a way to resolve your regret, apparently. I couldn't catch the end of his whisper. Huh? This voice. For an instant, something clicked in my mind. I'd seen those sorrowful eyes somewhere, a voice that filled me with deep calm. This should have been our first meeting, but I felt like those qualities were familiar. Who are you? Just as I opened my mouth to voice that question. Yanagi-senpai! Yo, it's the color-coded crew! The man lifting me in his arms took what appeared to be a letter from a man who was wearing an eye patch. He unfolded the sheet so I was able to see it. As part of the X Day countdown, a woman will be poisoned to death on the 6th of December at 12 a.m. There is only one way to save her. You must enter the unlock code given below into the collar the woman is wearing. Furthermore, if the police are notified, we will immediately kill the woman. Even if you save the woman, you are not to speak of the collar. We will be monitoring your actions through the collar. Should you violate any of these terms, you will be placing her life in jeopardy. Heed this warning well. Next day countdown. Why me? Enomoto, I'm a dumbass, okay? Huh? Um, dude, I don't even know you, and you just called me Baka, so... Fuck you. Oh yeah, I'm still poisoned. But Honestly, I don't know if I can trust these people, but this rate, I'll... I don't want to die without even trying. I made up my mind and prepared to speak. Um, if there's a way to stop it, please help me? How big is this collar that it has inputs for a code? Man touched somewhere on the collar while supporting my body weight. I thought I was ready, but I was still scared. Not knowing what was about to happen, I squeezed my eyes shut. Kinda feels like fucking. I was standing on the border between life and death. I had no idea whether or not I'd draw another breath. What a strange situation. I want... I want to trust this man. The moment the thought crossed my mind... Ow! I let out a gasp as the collar lanced me. What's we, man? You guys did it to me. When I heard their anxious voices, I worried that the darkness would claim me. Soon I felt something change. Huh. I can move. When I slowly opened my eyes, the man holding me exhaled a sigh of relief. Yes, I can feel my body again. Oh my god, dude. I hate you so much. Apparently Sasazuka's route is really fucking good, and he is a much better person than he appears to be. That being said, fuck this guy at this point. Sorry. When I felt the pain in my neck, I thought it was done for. But it seems I made it. Breathing had finally become easier, so I patted my chest in relief. Thanks, Enomoto, you finally caught up. 
Uh, Yanagi, was it? Thank you for saving my life. I was still woozy, but I managed to stand up and bow to him. Yeah. I tend to look at the other two as Yanagi mentioned them. Um, thank you. So na koto wa dou demo ni. Sore yori. Han nin ga nan de omae o eran da ka. Ore wa sore ga shiritai in da yo. Okay. I'm less likely to work with you now because you're a dick. I'm sorry, I'd like to give you an answer, but I honestly have no idea. Sore de na toku dekiru wa ke nai da ro. Omae wa koro sare kake tan da so. Yeah, I literally still have poison in my system. Koro sare ru da ke no riyu ga aru in da yo. So kangae ru no ga futsu da ro. Sasuke. Ichigo is a dumbass, okay? Leave her alone. Why is he being so hostile towards me? I j can't just accept you guys showed up out of the blue either. It's not like I automatically trust you now. I'm grateful that you rescued me, but how exactly did you get that notice about my situation in the first place? Thanks, Enomoto, such a knight. De Yanagi Senpai. Nani Steren Deska. So Kuni Juga Ochita. Hani no Moka. That's mine, baby. So Kono Machi de Ju or Motte Kotochtava, Shigijanaga. Kono Juga. Kesatsuga Shio Ste de Monogana. It is. How did you know that? Whatever. I could tell because your jacket has the word police on it. Huh? Yanagi let out a little chuckle when he saw my jaw. I didn't know it, but I didn't know it. I was a police officer. Yanagi Aichi. Investigation section one at HQ? That'd be very easy to verify, so it was unlikely that he was lying. Well, I was also a police officer with Jun. I saw this. Good job, detective. Well, Yanagi talked, he opened my police notebook, which is uh, kind of rude, dude. That's my name. Excuse me. Ah, worry. Okay, you clearly know me. I feel like the characters I met before have not done your route yet. I took my gun and my notebook back from Yanagi. I was going to ask them about them once again. But my phone began to vibrate. Ah, pardon me. That's right, Mochida was. My boss was attacked while we were supposed to meet up in response to a call. Nara, Koko ni nagai shinai hou ga ii. Hanashi no tsuzuki wa basho o kaite shikiri na oso. So sne, koko jia o tsuzuite hanashi kike na sa sou da shi. Koitsu o nobanashi ni suru no ka? So If you could not talk about my kidnapping in front of me, that'd be great. Sasazuka no kenen mo wakaranaku wa nai. Daga, ore wa kanojo ga obiete ita no ga enki da to omoe nakatta. I'm innocent, baby. Kanojo ga nani mo shiranai higaisha nara, shinjitsu o shiritai no wa ore tachi dake janai. I nodded nervously as he turned to me. I want to know what happened here too. I hate being kept in the dark like this. Sasuka. Kanojo wa keisatsukan da. Nige wa shinai. Plus, I have a fucking cat collar on full of poison. Kore made no X-ray jiken no higaisha wa more naku koro saretaru. Oh yeah, they did introduce more commercials now into Twitch streaming, didn't they? That fucking sucks. So na naka. こいつは助かる術を与えられた。唯一の被害者だ。警察以前に疑うのは当然だろう。でも、柳先輩は疑ってないんすよね。ああ。今のところは疑う根拠がない。Thank you, I mean, 
Okay, scary. Um, also, I'm still a police officer. Like I said, I'm not running. ホスノは後で改めて迎えようこそ。ひとまず新宿署で待機してあげるか。署にいた方がまだ肝休まるだろう。いや。今日のチェンジオブコンセーンにヤナギスボイスメイピフィールアリトルベッターだ。ドゥ
not that bothered to be honest. They might still be listening, so I shouldn't speak carelessly. They said they'd be observing through the collar. Actually, on the way to Shinjuku Garden, I came across a male student using a dog for a target practice. That's fucked up. When the weapons ban was lifted, all the young people wanted to try out their weapons in spite of the code and tracking system. Much knew about this happening, so it seemed like he believed me. So, what did the dance teacher do? Did she tell you about it? Um, it seemed like he had some pent-up stress related to his home life. I got his parents involved and he talked it out. Seemed like he understood where he went wrong. Just to be safe, I think I should swing by and check on them for a few days. Mm. He was trying to shoot a dog. Fuck this guy. I mean, he doesn't exist. Do you kind of feel bad lying to Mochida? That's not right at all. You were trying to reach me for a long time, Mochida. I apologize for making you worry. Really, there's no excuse for it. Stifling my deep guilt, I bowed my head. Yet yeah, two hours late, dude. Huh? Really? Weird. Mochida. I was honestly a little shocked to realize how easy it was to imagine this scenario. Hmm. Uh huh. Mochida was kind of clumsy, so it wasn't that unusual for him to lose things. Well, I was caught up in this mess. He was trying to find his keys. The thought just made me exhausted. A-star-cop. it was done to lure me. That's true. Hmm. Maybe Machida is the big evil guy. I don't know. I mean, I honestly don't know. Yes, sir. After that, we drove around for a while in Machida's patrol car. We didn't see any fleeing youths around, nor did we discover anyone or anything that seemed to be related to X Day. It's a worthwhile night. 2 a.m. Back at the station, I went to file a report. I picked up a pen and tried putting it to paper, but my hand wouldn't move. Working in the SRCPO, listening to citizens writing reports, that was my daily life. But the X Day cases, even in this office, I'd never had any direct contact with them. We were only provided info to investigations. Still, I raised my hand to feel my neck. It really happened. Nothing felt wrong with my body anymore, but the collar put the fear of death into me. According to those criminals, they're monitoring me right now. A small misstep could cost me my life. The thought made my hands tremble. I can't think that way. They could suspect that something's happened. I need to act normal. I just have to do what I always do. I'll be honest, if someone had a microphone around me 24-7, they would hear some very strange things that I say and sing to myself. Just as I psyched myself up, I suddenly remembered that voice. Oh, Yanagi. I thought it was going to be the, the weird voice. It'll be alright, he said. His strong voice repeated in my head. Daishofuda. Right, he's Aiji Yanagi, a former cop. I should verify his story. I turned on the monitor to my PC and clicked the icon to access the database restricted to police personnel. Detailed information will be classified, but I can find out where he was assigned. Selected the search field and I typed Yanagi Aichi and... Oh, Fuck! Whoa! Whoa. Turned around in a panic. Psyche was standing right there. You sexy little ghost, you. Saiki! Quickly moved my mouse and frantically closed the search page and my pornography. You're still at work? Hmm. Where were you about midnight tonight, my dude? 
That's right. I remember that. Machida mentioned that. Convenient alibi, you sexy bastard. Really? Long day, huh? Yeah, me too. I got caught up in something too, but it wasn't anything of import. I need to write a report on what happened, so I came back to the station. This game, because it follows kind of a realistic work life for someone in Shinjuku, it feels exhausting because you are like constantly at work. You aren't bothering me at all. You actually cheered me up a bit. Honestly, yeah, you did. Machida, Psyche, they're the same constant, reliable people they've always been. Now that I'm in this crazy situation, I'm especially glad those two are always there for me. He does sound like a pretty cool boss. No, I don't think I need to. 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 Psyche, I'm not a pig like you. Prove it. Show me your tummy. Psyche appraises belly fat level while grousing at me. Hehehehe. Hehehehe. I think we all need to pay attention to that figure. Sure, sure. And when you get fat, I'll be a good friend and let you know. Please don't call me fat. It's triggering. After leveling that parting shot, Psyche jogged off. I could still laugh while talking to Psyche. Classmates' bonds are powerful. Which is why I cut off all of my classmates throughout my life. Nothing had changed, but I felt like I could at least look ahead now. I turned back to my workstation and entered Yanagi Aichi once again. There he is. He apparently started in a local jurisdiction and was assigned to Headquarters Investigation Section 1 four years ago. So he did work in Investigation Sector 1. But he quit the force this year. He's 28. He should have had a long career ahead. None of the available information on him indicated that any problems had come up. He seemed like the most collected of the three, someone you could count on. Frankly speaking, I didn't want to believe he was involved in anything related to X-Day, but after all the X-Day incidents so far had been large events using, using video sharing sites. Did they give advance notice to specific people? I still don't know why they targeted me, so Sasazuka's suspicions about me aren't baseless. There was just too much I didn't know. There's only so much I can learn on my own. I need to talk to Yanagi and the others. I didn't know when Yanagi's group would get me, so I texted my little brother to say I might have to stay at the station overnight. After I turned my report in to Mochida, I began drowsily nodding off at my desk. Yeah, because you haven't slept. Oh god. Mm. I looked in the direction of the voice and gazed upon a man in a white coat with little kitty cat ears and a kitty cat pin on his kitty cat tie. Um, you are. <laughs> Kageyuki Shiraishi, 29。警視庁の科学捜査研究所所属。今は新宿署で機動捜査支援係を担当しています。白石影由紀です。よろしくね。えっと。Hello. Uh, Hoshino Ichika, Special Regions Crime Prevention Local Office. I 
said I had heard that CSIS had been temporarily assigned to Shinjuku Station to deal with the X Day cases. So he's one of them. Psyche told me once before that the Field Operations Support Team, aka Field Support, was full of eccentrics. Those hair clips, the cat typing. He does look rather odd. But why is Field Support coming to talk to an SRCPO? Um, I don't think there's anything here for Field Support to pick up. Eh. My sexy mouth. Shiraishi then mouthed a word at me without making a sound. My mind came to an immediate halt. Um. Not a huge fan of this introduction just because uh no one put your motherfucking hand on another person's mouth. But other than that. I do. Yes, I do. Reminded of the voice from before, I started trembling. Finally, I understood what Yanagi meant when he said they'd come get me. So there's more than three of them. And they even have someone in the station working with them? いつどんなタイミングで死が訪れるかわからないってどんな気分ね、俺に教えてよ。Tell you? The man flashed a pretty smile, but I sensed something unfathomable from him because he's acting like a weirdo. Is there really something someone would ask, knowing the situation I'm in? My speechlessness only seemed to cause Shiraishi's grin to widen. Literally gonna die if you fuck around. Interesting? That's the last thing I'd call this. あ、そうなのでもさ、物は考えようだよ。死に直面する機会なんて普通に生きてたらめったにないからね。We are literally locked in Shinjuku and everyone has a gun. So just go outside. He's not really this weird in the rest of the game. Like, it feels kind of weird, this introduction. That was supposed to be a joke, right? <laughs> With a suggestive smile, he finally let go of my finger. Without waiting for my response, Shiraishi left. What in the world was that? As I started to think, I touched my neck. I won't solve anything by sitting here and thinking, I need to meet Yanagi's group. I got ready to leave and proceeded to head over to the door with a plate that read, Field Operations Support. I took a deep breath and knocked. Hi. A female voice answered. Finally, a lady in the game. She's fucking hot. Um, I wish more Otome games, I wish, like, some Otome games had, like, gay romances, because, quite honestly, yeah. Good evening, I'm Ichika Hashino from the Special Regions Crime Prevention Office. Good looking. エレコムカイ。私は白石主任の世話をしております。初めまして。どうぞよろしくね。ディレクター、ファイザーシェビクション。それで。ハワー、アイビジネスウィズミスターシェライシ。シーエン。主任ですね。少々お待ちください。Mukai disappeared into the room, and then. Shunin, Okiaksama des. Omatase stewa hitsure des no de. Ima sugu ni kochira ni kite kudasai. Hehehe. Hitsure no no wa kimi da yo. Dare ga dare no sewa o shiteru te. 
I do love Eriko bullying Kagi. Ara, Okashi des ne? Jijit des ne? Hi, hi. Ima was so you got on his toy to get it. So, Reja, Ikoka. Mukai san, Otskare sama. Otskare sama des. Otskare sama. While we walked together, Shiraishi simply looked forward silently. We hadn't known each other very long, so we didn't have much to discuss, but the awkwardness on top of the situation was getting agonising, so I tried to initiate small talk with him. Um, so, Miss Mukai called you director back at the station? Ah, <laughs> People in the crime lab work for the police, but they aren't police officers. So that didn't explain how Shiraishi had become a director. I might have been impolite to Shiraishi when he came to see me at the SRCPO. But he was acting really weird too. Yeah, he put his finger on your lips, my dude. What um, Let's tell him he's weird. To be honest, when we first met earlier, my impression was that you were a very strange man. Uh, I didn't mean it like that. I just thought your type in and hairstyle were very unusual for a supervisor. Oh, what? 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 Ah, I think I know what you mean. Whenever I see stray cats, I always end up trying to play with them. Some of them just turn away from me and scamper off. So, so, Okay, he's getting cuter. でも嫌いになれないんだよね。勝ってみたいと思うけど、忙しくて構ってあげられそうもないし。もう仕事辞めるしかないのかな。Yes, quit your job, become a cat man. He loves cats so much. It's a little surprising. Why, thank you. I feel like you know me already. Now, you're kind of a weirdo, so... Uh, no, actually, I was saying... Yeah, because I thought you'd be Okay, you also smile like a cat. I don't think that's... Right. He was so assertive I couldn't even speak. Anyway, I doubt we'll ever be on such familiar terms. Many thoughts raced in my head as I strolled along Shiraishi. This intersection with the Halo uh, light stops is a very famous part of the Shinjuku business district. And um, a building that I used to go to regularly was one right on that corner, which, uh, yeah, it's pretty weird to kind of see it in a game like this. When we paused to wait for the signal, I heard a heavy sigh next to me. Hi, I'm a human. Thanks. Study? Something felt off about him the moment we met, and I finally realised that I was like an interesting lab subject to him. He's obviously enjoying this, while my life hangs in the balance. Determined not to be jerked around, I changed the subject. We were already outside of Shinjuku Station, so I should be able to ask about the others. Hey! Didn't say anything. What? I was stunned that I was denied so abruptly. <laughs> uh, a little bit. How did you know? I've turned your subtitles on so I can see your thoughts. You're a profiler. Hanko no Teguchi at Oke Gakara Haninzo, Waridashte, Sono Shinrio, Sweden Sur. Summary, profiling was Rutte, you shimot. But that's like profiling doesn't mean that you go up to people on the street and they're like, I know what you're thinking. You know what I mean? It's more stats. Oh, that's not good. Oh well, I'll give it to the game. 
she had actually decided disappointment on his face. I feel like he's already snapped. Slightly frightened by Shiraishi's cheerful tone, I revisited the topic. When you figured out what I was thinking, did you analyze me? Thank you. I am an open book. It's not true.君はさっきから俺のことばかり気にして、その癖なかなか口を開こうとしなかった。この状況下で君が俺と柳君たちの関係性に興味を持たないわけがない。そして、俺との沈黙も解消される。まさに願ったり叶ったりなという会だね。オールライト、メンタリスト。柳君たちと合流するまでは詳しい話をするつもりは。
He set it down in front of me, and then slowly took a seat next to Yanagi, on the arm of the sofa. Like a cat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they all look like dickheads. I hope that's true. Hi, Sasazuka. Sasazuka coldly prodded me to speak without even glancing up from the computer he was using. So much so. True, but... まあ、まあ、そんな尊敬したところで何もいいことはないよ。せっかく第三者の瞳に触れないところに来たんだし、ここは彼女の首輪を。じっくり鑑賞するべきじゃないかな。I knew he was just enjoying this. My gloomy mood abruptly turned to anger. I didn't have the luxury of being toyed with right now and I was not in the mood. I couldn't just simply trust people who would let Shiraishi behave like this. I opened my mouth to vent my roiling indignation. God damn it. You cut me off. The shock from both the statement and being interrupted made my eyes go wide. Working together? What do you mean? Without answering my question, Yanagi simply laid a sheet of paper on the table. When I picked it up, I saw it was written with the same red lettering as the earlier note. We have seen you have possessed a skill to assist Ichika Hoshino. She is one of our sympathizers and a woman with the potential to inherit our will, so treat her with courtesy. Should any harm come to her, we have no choice but to kill you all. Exploration mark. Calling me a sympathizer and threatening them? I was wrapped with shock, fear, and confusion. My hands trembled, but I kept reading. The note continued. Nonetheless, we bear no ill will towards your group. On the contrary, we would prefer to join hands. You who question the form of righteousness that the police cling to would surely find our concept of justice more agreeable. Of course, we do not expect you to be persuaded by mere words, so please try to grasp the truth of the X Day incidents. Discover our true intentions. You have until midnight on January the 1st, we'll be watching you via Ichika Hoshino. What on earth do these people want? Joining hands? Does this mean that these people are potentially murderers too? It's not a word about the collar. They said they'd be watching through me. So I'm going to be wearing it forever? Disturbed, I put down the letter. Sasazuka spoke instantly as if he was waiting for me. Thanks, dude. What? Don't go assuming that on your own. I am indignant, sir. I raised my voice at him without thinking. But I hadn't joined the X-Day thugs at all, so I couldn't let unchecked accusations stand. Hmm. Thank you, Shiraishi. You said it like a dick, but thank you. That is for sure a big Lebowski reference they put in there. You know, that's just like your opinion, man. What? I do have kind of a soft spot for the dumbass Enomoto. We love big dumb energy. Oops. Enomoto looked glum. Seeing that gave me a different image from him than I had earlier. They might have their own set of unfortunate circumstances, but that doesn't mean I can let them pin this all on me. I don't know what the criminals want, but... I sat on the sofa and looked at Yanagi. He nodded in understanding. Thank you. I got zapped, then I woke up. Yes. I mentioned justice in this letter. When the criminals spoke to me through the collar, they were fixated on justice too. When the collar was put on me, the criminal spoke to me for a little bit. It felt like I was being interrogated as I stated I had no clue why I was targeted and I didn't understand the criminal's claims and as a police officer I had done no wrong. Thank you. 
放っておくつもりもない。See, Yanagi, I knew you were the hot one. Yanagi s e n p a はい。エノモト、たとえ彼女がスパイだったとして、俺たちは犯人側に知られて困るような情報をつかめてるかそれは。疑うのはいつでもできる。だが、信じないと始まらない。Yes, trust me. So I can betray you. Oh, sorry, wrong button again. Sipping tea. But, the old dekir is a good thing. So, I need to. That's true. He's actually concerned for my safety, unlike the rest of these assholes. Even though the collar and its ties to the culprits was what they were interested in, it was still very heartening to hear him actually worrying about my well being. But if you're going to examine the collar. He's in the room, you guys. A sudden voice made itself known and directed everybody's attention to my collar. カナジョの命は保証できません。調べるのは自由ですが、それも我々に不利益ありと知れば、同じ結末に至ります。それより、X-ray事件を調べてください。真実を知れば、きっとあなたたちは今の正義を貫けなくなる。それでも、我々の志
Why all the Kabuki mannerisms? Oh, he did say he's a Kabuki mono. Kabuki mono uh, started around like the 15th century. Basically, there were people who would stand on street corners, uh, like contradicting like the stuffiness of the samurai. So they would wear lurid colors. They would use fans. They would like put on little like shows and plays and sing a bunch. And that is kind of where we get the idea of um, Kabuki theater as well. It's meant to be this like hyper absurd take on samurai culture so uh yeah he's a modern day kabuki mono so he claims <笑>まともに相手しないでいいよ彼は天然っていうか神聖っていうか俺的には遠くから眺めるのがおすすめだねえらいおしな気にしなくていい エノモトウ武器用なやつ。オークワード。ネーバスノーシャーリーノット。バカの極みとも言うけどな。へ、決まった。これ以上なく決まったぜ。じゃあ次、タケルの番だな。タケル・ササズカ、24。サイバー犯
won't be able to see it. Ah! I don't want people to see the collar, so I've done my best to hide it. So, then, you know, you were in the place where you were in the place where you were in the place where you were in the place. その首輪と同じような猫のモチーフと姉モネの花があしらわれたものだ。Love how they uh, say um, 姉モネ、姉モネ。エックスデイ事件の主犯と言われてるテロ組織、アドニスのシンボルな。お前、yes, 持ち帰って白石に調べてもらったが、これまでの事件現場に置かれていたコインと一致した。エックスデイへのカウントダウンを表すローマ数字はなかったみたいだけどね。これが十二月の事件になるなら、一の数字が残されてるはずなんだけど。その首輪だけだと、模倣犯って線も考えられるけど。コインが一致したってことは。実行犯は間違いなく。X デイ事件の関係者ってことだ。ちょ、人のセリフ取るなよ。しかも一番いいところだったのに。<笑>知るか。下手にもったいつけてるお前が悪いんだろう。<laughs> so I felt bad for Enemoto, but I was also really did not think this was the time. Agreed. Somebody related to X Day put this collar around my neck. That means finding out who did this will be no easy task. The entire police force was investigating X Day, and they'd gotten nowhere. There was only so much headway I'd been able to make on my own. I guess. Eh? Sasuka. Uh, Sasazuka raised his voice again, irritated. I sat there not understanding the question. So no could be one of Mukoni, Riatsu. Shiraber no Jiu need to eat the demo. Nia demo, Mazgune? Achino Friakin in Ario Nara, Korosu Mita in a goto it tatashi. Murini has a sort of star, Koros. Demo Shiraber no Jiu Nishro. Somebody do you? Shiraber Aremon, Shirabet Mirote Kota. あっちにも相当な自信があるみたいだなさすがにリスクが高すぎる相手の判断基準もつかめないうちから無茶はするべきじゃない何もクラッキングするわけじゃねえよ首輪が無線で電波を発してるなら種類を調べるくらいできるどれだけ大層な防御なのかも知っておいて損はないしなうん I wasn't able to keep up the conversation at all. The hell is an EM wave? I thought stupidly. Yanagi san, yari taku nai nara yara nai. Jiken no sousa ni modoru dake da. Hoshino, Sasazuka no ude wa shinyou dekiru. Makase de miru ki wa nai ka? It's not dangerous, is it? Hanin no mokuteki wa omae o korosu koto janai. Rule ni hansa na kereba. むやみに殺さないそれはわかるなはいその相手が調べるのは自由にしろと言ったささずかの言う通りたどられない自信があるんだなら大まかな構造だけでも知っておけば今後対処しやすくはなると思うニャナキーは素晴らしい彼は殺してくれるのに何でも知らなかったのにそれは理由がないので危険がゼロとは言えない怖ければ無理にやらなくていい。自分で決めろ。十秒待ってやる。Only ten? I think to force me or not? Ten seconds? What's wrong with this guy? それ以上待たせたら、俺が決める。Okay, chill. There was poison in the collar. Hadn't been able to relax since it was put on. I don't know when I'll be killed. If that's the case, please do it, Sasasuka. And please don't provoke them. I had no idea how he would examine it. I didn't know anything about his skills. But I thought it was the right call because Yanagi said we'd be collaborating from now on. Okay, ready. While Sasazuka was fiddling with his computer, I couldn't move a millimeter. The final sting of pain come, with the collar miraculously fall free. With a grunt, Sasazuka stopped typing, and the clacking of the keyboard ceased. Daitai wakatta. Daitai. Eh? 
乾杯ってことか。笹塚くんでも立ち打ちできないんじゃ、相当レベルが高いってことだね。マジかよ。おい、タケル、全く成果なしなのか。うるせえな。大体分かったって言っただろう。Um, so which is it? Sasazuka can I might not eat at all, sir. No, a kuyashi car. Level of Takai. Coas Kako, not a shinu cry, take it over. Sorry, at the so it's got shin. Ma, can't any of a top particular security that they are cut at a kedemo. Jerven say can and Janai. Give that angry seaweed head. So now, more stuts. カメラはついてないほう十分な成果じゃないさすがは天才ハッカーのタケルくん、so、can't see me take a shit it can only hear me take a shit I see お前のパソコンの中身流出させるぞやめてくださいそれだけは絶対にやめてください<笑> I don't get all of it but Color didn't react to whatever he tried I wouldn't die from anything he did I could take some relief from that at least Still, even a program skilled as Sasazuka was able to glean any valuable information, so it won't come off easily. So he can't see now. Son of Kubiaga, X day Jiken, he can't case the inner Congo, Tegakari Motetekraza. I nodded in response to Yanagi's concern. Boy, Kedai Kase. No, I didn't notice Sasazuka had gone so close, and I jumped at hearing his voice so near. Eh, Kedai? Oh my god, Darega, you don't know. Why? Castan at a home, eh? Sasazaka, Soros, Kirisoda. In confusion, I looked pleadingly to Yanagi, and he just nodded in resignation. Omawa, Shinjuku and the Nemra Sarita. So I don't need Hanning and Nanikas Kaketa Kano Seva. I quickly took out my phone, Sasazuka immediately snatched it away. Hey. Okay, look, yes, Ichika is a dumbass, but please stop insulting her. With that, he took my phone and went back to his desk. I may be a little on the slow side, but none of these people tell me anything. Especially Sasazuka. But the others obviously knew what he wanted, so I probably just wasn't following him. I stifled my protest and sat quietly watching Sasazuka go to work. Another security, I mean, it's just a phone, my dude. With that brief comment, Sasazuka tossed my phone back to me. I looked at the screen and saw that a sketchy looking app had been installed on my phone. I didn't know what he did, but he blocked the phone tap they were using for interception, I think. Nemura Saritero Idani, Ijirate Nakutemo. Encock the data and Kurante, Kantani Dekir. Motto Chikakshiro. Yeah, thanks. He was correct, but he was being such an ass that I couldn't accept what he said. <laughs> Too true. Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the h o u s words did nothing to reassure me. I only felt more uneasy around this group. I'm going to go to the house. 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 Is everybody here investigating the X Day incidents? But how? I'm going to go to the house. ちょっとは自分で考えろ、バカ猫。What the? the hell was that for? そうやって向きになる姿は毛を逆立てた猫みたいだけどね。ミャオ。<笑>ついに猫呼ばわりかよ。They're not listening to me at all. To investigate the case on their own, they all must have considerable skills. But don't feel any concern for me or any sense of cooperation from them. Maybe it's because they suspect me, but I really just want to know what's happening. When I shot a pleading duck to Yanagi, he sighed. So, as I said, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this. I'm not sure if I'm going to September and October? I thought the September suspect died, and nothing actually happened in October, did it? Countdown to it, the Okinagara Jungat Daganimo Kosanai Nanta, Ariel. Oreva, Domo Sokovakinarum, there. 
I'm actually deeply interested in September and October. Like, I don't understand what happened there. Um, so I cannot wait to get to that route. Hmm, there were suspicions about that thing, even at the station. Countdown video was issued for October, but no relevant incidents had been reported. But you have to work on cases that you've been signed by the police department, don't you? ここだと誰に縛られるわけでもないし、俺なりに捜査できるからね。大事な、<笑><笑> I don't understand what's happening here. I had many more questions, but it felt like I wouldn't get anything from Shiraishi. He would definitely just give me some kind of flippant response or spout sophisms. Anyway, I must solve the problem I've been given. To sum up everything I'd learned so far, the culprits who attacked me were undoubtedly related to X-Day. His criminals were aware that Yanagi's group of ex-officers were investigating X-Day. On top of that, they were pushed into a course of action that possibly led me to join them. The criminals claimed that this group was investigating the case that the same ideas as ideals as the criminals but still that doesn't explain sh why sh that doesn't explain Shiraishi who's still employed by the police he said that he discovered the first letter and took it to Yanagi I couldn't imagine he just did that of his own volition it would have been easy for Shiraishi to plant the letter in this office Shiraishi burst into laughter when he saw me looking at him with narrowed eyes <laughs> Guilty's charged. Well, that's what I get for trying to hide it. Might as well. I was a little scared, but I screwed up my courage and just said what I was thinking. Sure, I see you're obviously taking an awful lot of pleasure in my reactions. Why would I be? Why wouldn't I be suspicious of you? Oh, that's it. I'm the person. I'm going to take the switch in my pocket. I'm going to take the switch in my pocket. I'm going to take the switch in my pocket. I saw Shiraishi's eyes narrow, and I instinctively flinched. Shiraishi, Hoshino de Asobu no Yose. Koitsua Omaino Omochasanai. Thank you. So you are at him. Kanojo Shinik Sruto Omoshiro in there, eh? He really is like a cat. He's just screwing with me. I was done letting this jerk roll me up. I shot a hostile glance towards Yanagi, who spoke very deliberately. Ima Uritachiga Hanaser Joho wa Korekrega. Well, you're all kind of bullies, you know? Everyone turned to look at me. In order to remove the collar, the best course seems to be discovering the truth behind X Day. We can't even tell the police. So what can I possibly contribute to the investigation of this difficult case? Adding to my burden of self doubt, the men gathered before me had all been researching the X Day cases from the start. It was like a well organized production. Yanagi's sentence was immediately interrupted by the window abruptly opening. <laughs> oh, my heart. I love him. What the? This is the fifth floor. How did it get in here? Who is that? Okazaki. <sighs> In my surprise, I hastily hid my collar, but there seemed to be a familiar occurrence to the others, and they didn't react much. Um. <laughs> that is uh, Yuki Kaji's voice, by the way, the very prominent voice actor. Oh, you sexy, sexy white head out of my boy. I gasped when I saw what the man who had climbed into the room was wearing. He's the fucking fuzz. He's wearing police and SP badges. Is this man part of your team? In response to my question, everyone else in the room made complicated expressions. ね。お客さんなら出直そうか。そうしてくれるとありがたい。あとはいつも言っているが来るなら扉から入ってきてくれ。だって閉まってるし、いつも入れてくれないから。とにかく今日は帰れ。はい。He smiled and used the door to exit the premises instead of the window. 
毎度のことだけど油断も隙もねえな寝室鬼没すぎるだろう本当に出て行ったんだろうなボスアスズーカ left the room to check ヤナキスポークあの男は X 定事件を捜査中の俺たちを守るという任務についている警視庁警備部警護課の岡崎慶だ岡崎慶はあ、カバーに I wouldn't mind 岡崎カバーに The police are giving you protection while you freelance 岡崎君はそう言っていたけど本当のところは<笑>どうなんだろうねどういう理由で SP を俺たちにつけているのか警察の意図は分かっていない I see HQ Security Police Division or SP for short Not only their job was to protect VIPs and endangered individuals Do the police have a reason to protect them? そういった事情があるからな岡崎県は今回の件を気づかれるわけにはいかない首輪のことがバレたら確実に面倒だ犯人が警察にバラすなと言うからには説明するわけにもいかないしな OK You didn't seem that shocked to me but you can't judge a book by its cover Entering by the window is pretty suspicious One can never be too cautious それでさっきの質問の答えは、uh, What was the question? Oh, uh I want to get this collar off immediately. We need to investigate X day to do that. So I couldn't report this to the police. It was obviously better to have assistance. Still, can I really trust this lot? It's really the right call to collude with them despite being a police officer. Honestly, I was hesitant. Could I have a little bit of time to think about it? Okay. As soon as you can get the answer, the situation is not easy to get the answer. Why is there only one reasonable person in this goddamn detective agency? I know you're a friend of mine. 協力する気になれないかもしれないが。ダメだよ。お前を死なせたくない。Why? Thank you. 元ではあるが、警察時代から掲げてきた信念だけは、ケースにあるからな。There was a strong fire in Yanagi's eyes and it drew me in. Maybe I had a good impression of him since he was the first to help when I'd been poisoned. I want to trust him. After all, yep, buddy. Thank you, a lot has happened, so I'm really confused, but I'll collect myself and think about it. Ah, right. Okay, so I need to contact anyone. I exchange phone numbers. Well, then, I'll be back at night. Squinting at the rays of the morning sun, I left the detective office. Boy, Boy uh oh. It's Sasazuka. What is it? Well, you're kind of intense, my dude. Huh? Oh, he feels rejected. 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 Oh, he f e e l Try it, fish cake. What's that supposed to mean? Sky Michino are Bacana, Rio Surdake. None the Wakane. Sasuzuka's eyes narrowed in irritation, and then suddenly. I yanked my muffler hard. Hey! Damare. Fuck you. Sasuzuka was glowering at me, he stared at me with what looked like hatred. A chill ran down my spine and I froze. I cannot wait to get this guy to fall in love with me and apologize for everything. It was a shocking statement. Yanagi, on the other hand, said that he didn't want to let me die. The moment of safety I had felt had vanished. I realized that even for a moment I'd allow myself to think that I was in a sympathetic environment. But he's different. I could be killed at any moment. Did he really not care at all? お前に自覚があろうとなかろうとアドニスがお前に何らかの価値を見出してるのは事実だこのつながりを無駄にできるかよどんな推挙か知らねえけど向こうも真相にたどり着けって言ってんだ忘れたか首輪のやつは言ったろお前を通して俺らのことも見てるってな This is a bad basis for a friendship. 俺は事件を解決するためだけに動いてるそのためにお前の存在が必要だってんなら絶対に逃がさねえ怖い
that's... I replied in a voice cracking with fear. Do you suspect me? Yeah, we'll go with, like, I know that's the wrong answer. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Let's go with you. Do you suspect me? Do you suspect me? Sorry, more. What else is there? I apparently thought this question seemed only to further Sasazuka's irritation with me, and he glared even harder. And... え、ヤナギさんはああいう人だから。いちいちお前に配慮して、お前の意思を尊重しようとする。峰はバカだから。周りのことまで頭が回ってね。白石さんは面白がってるだけで。どう転ぼうが構わないと思ってる。だから俺
ちょっと事情があってあの事務所にはよく行くんだ I know that too After another mental comeback I took some time to consider my next move I'm glad my holster is concealed under my coat If not, you'd know I was a cop No matter how many times I said I was fine he wouldn't listen and now we neared my home I didn't prompt the subject, but he'd been talking about the detective agency the entire time we'd been walking. Well, I'm now like fucking supportive Okazaki is of everyone around him. I see. Well, they were police, so that makes sense. Oh, he's such a swell guy. Okazaki's gentle smile made me a little curious about why he was assigned by the police to protect the group. Um, it's right here. If I had just picked a different apartment to lose him, he'd follow and know I was lying. With that in mind, I thought I'd just head directly to my place. Mm. See you around? I wanted as little to do with him as possible, but if he was protecting Yanagi's group, I'd run into him again if I went there. Girl, I'll take your place. Wait a second, the letters from the criminals. He could have planted them, right? He works for the police, so he could have slipped in the first letter with the files. He comes in through the windows, so he could have left the second letter in the office. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, yes, thank you very much for your help. I stared at his back as he walked away. Okazaki, he spoke as if he knew quite a bit about Yanaki's group. They're the people he's protecting, so that's perfectly natural, but only a certain caliber of person worked in SP. There should be many other people in this town worth protecting in a city this dangerous, yet he was watching Yanagi's group. Something's definitely off. The longer I thought about it, the more I felt like I couldn't trust him. To begin with, the first letter indicated that a criminal was in the station, or that there was a traitor in the ranks. But why me? Even more questions now filled my head. She is one of our sympathizers and a woman with the potential to inherit our will, so treat her with courtesy. The sympathizer. Though Yanagi's group and Okazaki were linked, I had no idea who that term applied to. I can't think of anyone who does sympathize with the perpetrators of the X Day murders. Who put this collar on me? What do they want? I don't know anything. I, mean, I am, in fact, a dumbass. Okay, I've um, been going for. 2 hours and 15 minutes, so I think now is actually a good time to stop for the night. Uh, I am, I'm enjoying, like, playing this game online. I think I would like to, like, play it again, maybe later this week, maybe like Friday, Saturday, something like that. Um, so, yeah, if you see an alert, you know, please do uh, follow me and um, even better, subscribe. I don't know what it does, but it looks cool and it's different from following. Um, and yeah, we'll play some more Otome games, you know. We will uh, continue with Colorex Malice and then maybe one day I'll try something else. Um, gosh, isn't this game fun? Yes. All right. Thank you, everyone. And until next time, good night. Oh, yes, you mean to say? Out of the way of the street.